What's up everybody, George here from GP Lifestyle and in today's video guys I'll be showing you five different ways to wear a white hoodie and as always gentlemen there is a video summary with timestamps in the description in case you guys like to review certain outfits and I'll be sure to leave a link to every single piece of clothing used in all the outfits. So further delay, let's get into it. So outfit number one on this list, we're going to start off with as basic and as foundational as we can. Here we're starting off very basic just by going with a hoodie and jeans look. And I personally think if you want to step your outfit up a little bit here, even though this is fairly basic and foundational, go with a distressed pair of blue jeans over a regular wash pair of blue jeans. They just have a little more character, brings a little more attention to the outfit. And overall, it's a great, easy touch. And when it comes to white sneakers, basically, any sneaker here that is white is fairly good, but I personally think if you want to draw a little more attention, you want to have a little bit more unique, even with staying very basic, go with something that either has a gum sole, a retro throwback, or maybe let's say like a Nike Air Force One is a great alternative to other basic and simple silhouettes. This is an excellent outfit and a great starting point which we're going to build on. But with outfit number two here, we're going to dress up our first outfit by throwing on a bomber jacket. Now, the first outfit was very basic, but I think if we want to take it up just a little bit is to throw on a olive green bomber jacket. Now, I personally think olive green mixed with blue jeans and white is just an excellent combination overall. It breaks up some of the monotony of just having two colors including white and just having blue jeans. So I personally think this is an excellent option. Now since we are wearing a hoodie and they are heavier and thicker in material, definitely go with a light weight bomber jacket so like this nylon one that I have that's olive green and not sort of like a quilted or heavy one because it just builds up a little too much bulk and it may be hot that day or maybe it just doesn't feel right but I personally think this is an excellent look and this is the most that we can get with sticking to a minimum amount of colors and not getting too experimental this is as far as we can go with this current outfit but outfit number three on this list we're gonna have a little bit more fun we're gonna get a little more experimental and you're going to see how far we can take a white hoodie. Now with this, we are going to start it off with a dark wash pair of blue jeans. These are a darker blue, they are non-distressed, and we're gonna throw on a red and white pair of vans. Now we're actually going to layer the hoodie with a red and black flannel to give us a good balance and contrast. Now, be sure that your flannel is either the same size, that you're also that your hoodie is not oversized, or if you can't squeeze in a flannel over a hoodie, go with an oversized flannel shirt if you have one. But the great thing here is that I was torn between going either with black jeans or a dark blue jeans, but I personally, if you go with dark blue, it's going to contrast the red a little more subtly than it would having a harsh contrast with black. And I personally think layering a hoodie with a flannel is an excellent look. It's great, it's fun, and just having those red and white bands match the red on the flannel and the white on the hoodie, it's just an excellent touch. It's a simple outfit that I think a lot of younger guys can really enjoy, and it's really fun. And like, if you have any other color flannel and any other matching sneakers, like yellow, for example, you can also throw it on instead of going with red and black. Outfit number four is my favorite on this list because it is so modular you can add and take a waist up and still have an amazing outfit. Now this outfit is pretty simple because we're just going with two colors, black and white, and I personally think this is where you can have the most amount of fun. We're going to start off by layering the hoodie with a black bomber jacket or any black leather jacket that you have. Le I love biker jackets. You can layer them nicely. They're, they're timeless. They're classic. They're masking. Dress them up. Dress them down. A distressed pair of black jeans, the ones with the knees cut, and a black and white pair of vents. Now what I like about this all outfit is that it's so modular you can swap out the sneakers for for tan chelsea boots for a black sneaker a white sneaker you can swap out the black jeans for either blue jeans or a black jogger or any black joggers with a side stripe now also here you can accessorize you can add watches to this outfit you can add a necklace if you want or you can add a snapback or a dad hat for more accessories and everything will match great because we're going with a black and white combo and this outfit is great to use as a foundation that you can build and add add and substitute things if they're not to your style that day now for the fifth and final outfit on this list, I'm pulling out the big guns and I'm also providing you guys with two different variations of this same outfit. Now here we're going to stick with the distressed black pair of jeans, but here is where the outfit starts to take shape. We're going to throw on my legendary, my uh, the, the tan overcoat that I love so much. And for our sneakers or our shoes here, we have two different options. One is not a sneaker, it is a tan suede pair of Chelsea boots to match the tan top coat or we can go with black and white vans that have a little bit more of a street wear aesthetic to it and I probably think this is an amazing outfit because you'll not you'll not see a lot of guys try to pull this off because it is just two different worlds of fashion colliding that very structured very unstructured 
formal piece of clothing, a not so formal piece of clothing coming together, and I personally think makes an amazing outfit. Now, now if you're not a big fan of having the Vans with this top coat, I personally think go with a tan suede pair of Chelsea boots, have it match, and just have fun with this outfit. This is comfortable, this is stylish, this is expressive, and I personally think if you guys haven't given this a try, you'll stand out with this outfit because I personally think it looks great, and not a lot of guys are going to wear this because it's, it's not as traditional, but I personally think if you want to get a little more style, you have to experiment a little bit more and there you guys have it five different ways to style a white hoodie as well as some tips along the way if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more men's style content like this as well as style grooming dating and relationship advice and overall confidence building videos to help you become the best version of yourself thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video peace